Here we have a Sony via Fit 15A. We're going to open it up and explore the insides. First of all, we're going to flip to the back where we need to remove a few screws to remove the back cover. So we're going to need to remove the bottom feet. There's two feet on the top as well, which are mine's already been removed. When you remove the feet, remember to put it at a clean place. It has double sided sticky tape on it. If you leave it in a clean place, you can actually put it back on. But in case if you get it dirty, it's going to be hard for you to put it back on. So just dig your fingers into it and just pull it up. There should be four screws under it or five. Now you need to get your prank tool to remove the back. So now that I've removed it, I took it off screen, it's a lot easier for me to remove. To show you that um, you're going to have to remove it from one side first, as one side has your network port. Network port connector and it's a bit hard to remove it from the other side so you have to tilt it up one side then push it away I'm just going to remove this black sticker here so this is your hard drive under there your RAM slot there's two of them so under the black sticker there's another slot so there's only two RAM slots there's your wireless card CPU your fan, your battery, your speaker, and your BIOS battery. Now we're going to need to remove the hard drive. To remove the hard drive you need to remove these tabs first. Remember to remove your hard drive cable as well. There's four screws holding your hard drive down. Now that we remove those screws, just lift up your hard drive and it comes off. So 
So this laptop uses two and a half inch slim hard drive. So slim means seven millimeters thick. Your normal laptop hard drives are nine millimeter thick. Make sure you don't get the wrong one, as you won't be able to fill it in. So there's two RAM slots. You push the two sides out, and the RAM pops up. So there's two RAM slots, means that you can have eight gigs of RAM in each stick. Stick. So that means sixteen gigs in total. I'm going to remove the battery now. I'm just pointing out to you the screws that you need to remove to remove the battery. After you remove the screws, just lift it up and it comes off. Now we're going to remove the wireless card. Remember to remove your wireless antennas. There's one screw holding your wireless card down. After you remove the screw, just lift it up and wiggle it out and it comes out. And here we go. I'm just going to put the wireless card back as I don't need to remove it. We're now going to remove the heatsink. There's three screws holding it onto the CPU. We're going to remove the heatsink. <coughs> when you remove the heatsink, you're going to have to reapply thermal paste and clean the old one off. Don't be cheap on thermal paste. Thermal paste doesn't cost much. It's only $10 per tube, and you can use a tube 15 times. Thermal paste is really important. We're going to have to remove two screws on the fan as well. The fan and the heatsink come together. We're going to unplug your fan cable and after we remove that just lift it up and it comes off. So here you go, we're going to have to clean off the old thermal paste and we have to clean off the film plates on the CPU as well so I want to show you there's numbers on it so that's number one 
number two, and number three. That's the order of the screws you have to screw it in when you put it back on. By following, dust normally builds up here on the heating. The screw numbers, by following the screw numbers, it spreads out the thermal paste evenly. That's the point of having the numbers there. So you don't need any special liquids or anything, just wipe and clean the old film paste with a cloth or a tissue. Try to use a cloth if you have one, as tissues break apart when you use it. I'm just going to take it off the screen so I can push away my film paste into the bin so it doesn't drop on the motherboard. So here's my heatsink, it's all nice and clean. Try to clean it as best as possible. So now we're going to reapply thermal paste. I'm using Noctua NTH1. We're going to put half a rice grain size of it on the on each silver part. Clearly on the smaller one you can put a quarter of rice grain on it. Remember put it in the center and don't spread it out. We want to put our heat sink on and not press it down. We want the screws to do the spreading, not your hands. So just put it over the top, align it with the screw holes and just screw the screws in, in order. It's not a big deal if you don't screw it in order, but it's just best to do, it, do so. And that's it. Remember to plug back your fan cable and screw back the screws in. I just removed the power cable as it blocks the screw hole. That's the end now, and thanks for watching.